Devils.com. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, just a few days ago, we were hearing in the media that you know you were thinking about potentially wanting a trade out of Calgary. For you to sort of have this next part of your life happen so quickly, to sort of know that the rest of the summer you know where you're going to be, how important was that to you? And what's the excitement level with a team like New Jersey? Yeah, obviously it, it makes the uh, transition a lot easier uh, being able to you know, you know, have some conversations with some of the guys. And obviously I've, I've talked to a couple already and um, just kind of get a feel and be a little bit more comfortable going into training camp. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot of the guys yet, um, obviously besides playing against them. So um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, just another, another challenge, a new step, like you said, uh, continue on in my career. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously the, uh, the team took a huge stride last year and um, obviously I only played against them twice because, because they're in the, uh, they're in the other division and stuff. So um, that's just, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm excited for it. I think one of the things that Tom Fitzgerald really in the last few years have been doing is he's known what his main core is in terms of his younger players. And he's been trying to surround them with a lot of veteran leadership, a lot of winners, just that type of person that maybe you are, that Andre Pallad is. What does that mean to you that he would target you as a player like that, that he wants to bring into his group as someone who can, can be a help at this stage in a lot of their careers? Yeah, that was honestly one of the first things he said when we uh, when we had the conversation. It was uh, it was really good, and uh, obviously he it was short and sweet because he knew that you know there's going to be a lot of stuff going on and moving parts. But uh, he said that he was excited to have me and and for me to bring my leadership and um, having won a Stanley Cup and and all those things. And that's what he's trying to bring into the locker room, and that's something that I'm gonna you know take pride in and um, try and help lead the guys and obviously not step on anybody's toes, but um, just go in there and, and play my best. And uh, whenever there's something that might need to be said, I'm, I'm not going to have a problem, you know, stepping up and, and doing that. And last for me, you said that you've heard from some of the guys. Is that what you were saying on the devil's yeah. roster? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, heard it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Jack, Jack texted me already. And then I think Dougie just texted me. I, I read it real quick before I called into this. So nice. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I know Dougie from playing against him in, in junior and um, you know, Jack, he's friends with uh, a couple guys that and obviously like Cole Caulfield and stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited for it, for sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Next question, go to Anthony Fusilli, MSG Networks. Hey, Tyler, welcome. Um, Thank just, you very much. What's your level of excitement from a team now that, you know, can contend for possibly a Stanley Cup? Yeah, like I said, they uh, they took a huge stride last last season, and um, it was definitely fun to watch. They have they have so much talent, and um, it doesn't seem like they're too far off. So hopefully, I can uh, I can come in and, and help. And um, like I kind of said earlier, just whatever it takes to win, and uh, leadership wise, and 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 playing wise, it it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's when that's when hockey's at its best is when you're winning games. What do you think you can bring to this team uh, if 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 people aren't familiar with your game? Yeah, well, I'm looking obviously to, to keep building. I think the, uh, the past few seasons I've, uh, you know, personally I've, I've gotten better and better. And it, it, uh, it's something that I, you know, I really take pride in. I, you know, I train hard in the summer to, to contribute during the season. So I'm looking forward to, um, you know, doing whatever's asked of me. And obviously I want to, you know, come in and score goals and, and get points and and do all those things, but at the same time, I really take pride in in playing the full 200 feet game and and all those little things. So uh, it's one of those things where where we'll see in, in training camp and, and go from there. He just uh, Fitzy was talking about you know having men in the playoffs and that grit and and what it takes. Uh, how how beneficial is it for you knowing what it takes? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've I've been been on a, a few playoff runs here and. Um, you know, being able to see what it takes to win in, in you know, my first full season in the NHL with um, guys like Justin Williams and Jared Stoll and, you know, Jeff Carter, Andre Kopitar, Mike Richards, all these guys, you can honestly name everybody on that, on that LA Kings roster and um, just see how hard it, you know, took and, and what it, what it takes from everybody. It, uh, it goes a long way. And, you know, it's one of those things where I definitely want to have that experience again and, and I want to win. Thanks, Pooch. Next question, go to Ryan Novozinski, NJ.com. 
Hey, Tyler, welcome to New Jersey, man. Um, Thank you. Thank you. So I guess, you know, quick scene setter for us. Uh, just where were you when, when you got the call and, and kind of how did that all go down? Uh, I just got home from uh, from a walk with with my wife from the farmer's market. And um, it, I was I was kind of telling her it felt like something was going to be going on today. And obviously it, it finally came and, um, you know, things kind of started moving pretty quickly. And um, that's the way, the way the social media and all that stuff is now it started going crazy. So I figured that it was out in the public and um, that's uh, that's kind of what was going on. And obviously, you know, in LA and, and in Calgary, you were with the, an old school coach in in, um, in Daryl Sutter. Uh, I guess, what do you know about Coach Lindy Ruff, another you know old school coach, um, you know, long tenured in the in the NHL, um, and just you know just what you've heard about him, and and have you spoken with him yet? I haven't spoken with him yet, no. But uh, I've I've heard you know guys love him, guys love playing for him, and um, I've kind of said throughout my career, it's one of those things where. Um, I enjoy playing for a coach who, who's hard on the guys and uh, expects nothing but the best. So hopefully I can come in and, and just prove my worth and um, kind of what I said, just just continue to you know build my game and grow my game and, and win games and um, sort of do whatever it takes to uh, to help move in this organization further. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Our next question will go to Josh Rennitz of the Hockey Writers. Hey, Tyler, welcome to uh, New Jersey. Um, Thank you. I know you, uh, you said earlier that uh, you spent most of your career uh, in the Western Conference. Um, just for, for Devils fans who uh, go to bed early and haven't been able to stay up late and watch you play, uh, you know, what can they expect from you uh, stylistically and, and what kind of game are you bringing? Yeah, I think I, I kind of bring uh, something that's, you know, it's sort of unique. It uh, may not seem like I'm always, you know, doing the flashiest thing on the ice, but um, I kind of try and take pride in doing the right thing all the time. And that was one of the things that I needed, needed to do to, to, you know, start my career in the NHL. So, um, I think just making a lot of those little plays and, uh, finding open ice and, and getting lots of opportunities to score goals. I think that's something that, um, you know, the fans can, can be looking forward to. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Our next question will go to Bill Spalding of MSG Networks. Hey Tyler, congratulations and welcome. Um, you, you you talked a little bit about from afar seeing the Devils have a, a breakout season last year, but I'm curious, like as a player on the ice against them, and I know both times you played were early last year, but but what did you see about the Devils as a player last year that maybe you're excited to slide in and, and be a part of this year? Uh, just a ton of skill. They uh, they have you know dynamic players everywhere on the ice and. Um, you know, there's times during the games, you know, both times where it felt like we didn't really have a whole lot of puck possession. It was, it's almost like, you know, a bunch of the guys had on Jersey had, you know, the puck on, on their stick and, and it was on a string. So I think that's one thing to build around and, um, the way the game's going now, it's a lot of possession, a lot of, you know, making great little plays and, and creating some really good scoring opportunities and, and breakouts and all those things. So I definitely thought it was difficult and, I'm definitely happy to be joining it now. I know you've worn 73 your whole career. Should we expect that to uh, to continue in, in New Jersey? Uh, that's the plan. I mean, I haven't uh, I haven't had that discussion yet, so I don't know if there's any rule, rules around it or not, but um, we'll see uh, moving forward here. I think you'd be the first ever Devils player to wear 73. So uh, That's kind of cool, so we'll see, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Congrats, Tyler. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Our next question go to James Nichols, NJD Hockey Now. Hey, Tyler. Welcome to New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, but my only question for you here is you, your desire was to go to a team that could win. Um, was part of that wanting to also go to a team that we will have the opportunity to extend with? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, I think yeah, I haven't really had that discussion yet. And um, that was obviously you know one of the reasonings behind um, leaving Calgary. So um, we'll see how things kind of you know move forward here. Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts today and, and tomorrow, I'm assuming. I'll be on the phone a whole lot so um plan on you know talking to everybody and and seeing if we can move forward here and um that's that's something that's on the wish list for, for sure thank you tyler congrats again thank you thank you james our next question will go to trey matthews pucks and pitchforks thank you tyler welcome to new jersey once again my first question for you is how much more potential does this team have now that you're added to the roster i would like to get your perspective on it 
Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, like we like we were just talking about, I'm definitely I'm, I'm a, a guy with a lot more experience coming in the locker room. And if you look at the uh, the way the team's set up, there's so many good young players and a lot of young, uh, young talent. So um, hopefully I can just, you know, come in and, and fit in and um, not step on anybody's toes and just play. And uh, like I said, just build off of what uh, the guys in the locker room did last season. Awesome. My second question for you is you've been on a Stanley Cup winning team before. Um, do you see any similarities to this current Devils team? No, it's different. I mean, like I said, I, I haven't really played against the team very often. So uh, I think you, you you just kind of see the uh, the record and and the score of games almost. And you you look at it and you're, you, you, you see the potential. So it's a matter of just putting everything together and um, I think and I hope that I'm just another piece to the puzzle and can can do some pretty uh, special things here. OK, last one. What are you looking forward to most about playing in New Jersey? Yeah, I think I think I've just I've heard the guys love it there. I, you know, watching games last year, the the fans were uh, were incredible. And it, uh, you know, it makes me want to win and, uh, and bring back all the good memories that they had, uh, you know, a few years ago. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Awesome. That's it for me. Welcome once again to New Jersey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trey. Our next question will go to Eric Francis of Sportsnet. Hi, Tyler. I just wanted to, sorry, I missed the beginning and I don't know if you addressed it, but, you know, people in Calgary are curious, you know, did you ask for a trade and, uh, or did you just simply indicate that you wouldn't sign an extension? And, and what was the reasoning behind not wanting to stay in Calgary? No, I, I definitely, like I said, at you know, my end of year meeting, I, I wanted to stay and I had talked to Tree. Obviously, Tree's not there anymore, but um, the conversation was had and, uh, I think everybody knew I wanted to stay, but it uh, was one of those things where uh, there wasn't a whole lot of conversation and it didn't sound like there was any sort of, um, uh, you know, need for me and, and or want in, in a way. So it uh, it was a personal decision and um, it was, I thought it was it was time for for myself and for my wife to to experience something different and, and move forward. OK, so it was a trade request. It wasn't just simply I'm not going to sign an extension. It was, uh, I was waiting for sort of an extension conversation and there was none um, coming and didn't feel like there's one in the future. So uh, yeah, I guess that's how you, uh, how you look at it. Thanks Tyler. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Our next question, go to Mike Morial, NHL doc. Hey Tyler, welcome to New Jersey. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I know you spent some time in Montreal as well. Just curious if you feel there's any difference at all from, from Western conference hockey and hockey in the East. I think it's a little different, but at the same time, I think the way that the game is, it, it changes, it evolves every season. And, um, you know, a lot of teams play the same way. They, they uh, you know, like I was saying, a lot of puck possession, a lot of uh, making little plays that uh, create opportunities. And I think uh, New Jersey is a, a team that's, that's up on the rise and um, a team that does a lot of those little things. So it's, uh, it's an exciting time. And I just want to, like I said, be another piece of the puzzle and, uh, help the team moving forward here. You, you played a, a real big role in the Kings uh, 14 cup run on that, that uh, the seventies line, Jeff Carter and Tanner Pearson. W what was it about that line that the three of you were able to click so well? Why was the chemistry? Why did the chemistry kind of fit there with the three of you? Yeah, I think it was just uh, obviously Carts was, was playing incredible yeah. hockey and uh, Tanner, Tanner and I were, uh, young kids just you know trying to make a name for ourselves and it was you know one of those things that we started clicking at the right time and I think any team uh, that wins you can ask the same question that's kind of what happens you just kind of come together and you gel at the right the right moment and it was one of those things where obviously we were clicking but uh, the whole team we were, we were finding ways to win and, and scoring big goals and we were just you know one of the things that were part of it. And, and finally, for me, Tyler, um, you're also, you know, you've also been um, a part of some great power plays in the past. What, what do you feel? I'm just curious. What do you feel makes an effective power play? I think, you know, obviously moving the puck and, and uh, you know, not always making the, uh, the most difficult play. Sometimes um, getting a, a shot on net and, and getting the rebound and trying to break down the, uh, the penalty kill is the way to go. And I don't think um, that's always necessarily the worst the worst thing to do. So um, I think just just breaking down the penalty kill and um, the entry is a huge part of the, the the power play now. Teams do such a good 
a uh, good job of, of standing the blue line and, and it's, it's tough to get in sometimes. So I think those little things definitely go a long way and, and just being confident and making the right reads. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Our next question will go to Wes Gilbertson, Post Media. Hey, Tyler. I remember the conference call when you were traded to Calgary, and I know it's kind of tough to maybe sum this stuff up after an hour notice, but how are you going to reflect on your time with the, the Flames organization? I had, I, it, was, it was amazing. I Obviously, I got brought in and um, to one of the best teams in the league uh, a couple seasons ago, and obviously things kind of fell short, but it felt like we were uh, we were moving on, and um, you know things were were going to head in the right direction. And obviously, last season was uh, was a little bit of a disappointment, so to so to say. We we wanted to do so much better. We had high expectations, and um, obviously fell extremely short. And uh, at the end of the day, this is you know not only me getting moved, but um, with Tree and Daryl and all that. That's kind of what happens if, if you don't live up to the expectations. So. Um, I think at the end of the day, it was obviously the ups and ups and downs, but uh, a great experience overall. The the city was awesome, and uh, we loved our time there. And obviously, it was short, but uh, we definitely enjoyed it. Thank you, Wes. Our last question will go to Amanda Stein, NewJerseyDevils.com. Just circling back, I wanted to ask you, you know, we've been talking about just how young the team is and yes, they're older, obviously, and have a little bit of experience, but for a guy like yourself who mm -hmm. in your thirties, does it give you another sense of rejuvenation when you're playing with a lot of young guys like that? I know you did it in Montreal with Suzuki and Caulfield. There's a bit of that similarity here in New Jersey, right? Definitely. I think it's, uh, it makes it fun to come to the rink every day and um you know it's like I was kind of just saying with with myself and and Tanner Pearson it uh you you bring a different type of energy and um you know guys feed off of it and at the end of the day it uh you know it's one of those things where where you want to be positive and and work work hard but get better every day but also have fun so I'm looking forward to uh to the opportunity here are you looking forward to Eastern Conference travel again maybe a little bit <laughs> I, I am I am like you said it's a you know, the Western Conference, it's, uh, there's some tough travel days and um, you know, I'm 31 now, so it's, uh, it'll be nice. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks so much, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you for the media for joining us this evening. And Tyler, thank you for taking the time. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you, guys.